Welcome to talk about something glad you're here today Is it a part of love? Well, who's to say? But it's mine to share, yours to see I'll do my best to entertain Just wait and you'll agree Time for a new video from Shanghai again. The hot weather is back. The cold weather was just here for maybe one day, two days, uh, something like that. Today is again like 38 degrees, and you can see the sky. It's very blue, so I can't complain about the weather. But uh, in today's video, I would like to talk about the importance of the people you surround yourself with. Me, I work by myself, basically. Yeah, every day of the year. So I don't have uh, colleagues so much to worry about. But uh, today I had a few phone calls from uh, different categories of people. And uh, two of them uh, actually annoyed me quite a bit. I feel like uh, when you do business, trust is the key. And uh, I haven't given these people any reason to not trust me. I always provide, uh, when I claim something, I always provide uh, documentation, proof that my claim actually is true. When I recommend them to do something, I always show them what a third party would uh, will say and like, you should do it this way because you can see this example, this other company did it and they got this result. And this is applicable on your business because of these five reasons. I always provide documentation to show that, yeah, this is the way it is. Here's the proof. But still, they question me. We've known each other for many years. Still question me. Even though I have independent documentation that shows I am correct and they are wrong. It's really very annoying when, when you over and over again have to prove yourself with the, with the help of uh, third parties. When it's so obvious that, uh, okay, this stuff I'm talking about, I know it. I am an expert in this field. I have 999 other customers who believe I help them a lot and they believe what I tell them is the best advice they could ever get. But then there is this one, number 1000, who question absolutely everything, even though I can provide documentation from, like I said, independent sources who support my decisions, but still question, question, question everything. I guess in some way it's good to question when you do a business, but there is also a limit. Partners you've been working with for many years they can get fed up with being questioned every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So that's my advice. Basically, if you don't run your own business, make sure that you have enough customers so you can choose which one to work with and which one to let go. Because business life or personal, whatever, life is too short to spend it with people who always want to argue, create drama and question what you tell them, even though you over and over again show them that what you say is correct. It's a friendly advice, really. Make sure that the people around you are nice to you and treat you well and always look out for you and want the best for you. Make sure that the poisonous people that they are far away from you and your family. Create a life that you want. Don't think about, oh, what will they think if I do this and that? Yes, be honest and pure and kind. Then your life will be good. And move away from the people who treat you bad and question everything you say. Maybe it's clear that I am a bit annoyed today so that's why I want to do this video. 
I am annoyed, but I also... I, I will move on from this, you know? It's no problem. Just uh, every time this type of stuff happens, even though it's just one out of 1,000, basically, it still it annoys me. It's the same like uh, one of my customers said about his YouTube channel. I get 300 comments, 299 say, wow, your video is awesome, you're great. But the number 300, he say, I hate your video, you are stupid. So which comment will he remember? Of course, number 300 who hate his video and think he's stupid. It's easy when you are running your own business and basically only have yourself to talk to, <laughs> that uh, it's easy to focus on the negative and forget about everything that's good around you and your business. So uh, basically to summarize this little video is uh, remove the bad people from your life. And uh, when something not so good happens, yes, to, okay. Can I learn something from this? Yes, no. If yes, then what? Then, okay, next time I know this way is not good. And then move on. Bad people who treat you bad, they have no right to talk to you. So keep bad stuff away from you and live the life you want. Again, this video is a little bit ranting, but it's like I said a few videos ago, I, I make these videos very spontaneous. I have no script. I just uh, say whatever comes to me. So that's uh, why sometimes they are a little bit repetitive. I hope you don't mind. You know, English is not my first language. I am Swedish, so Swedish would be much easier. But uh, honestly, how many people watch, watch videos in Swedish on YouTube? Not so many. So I try to speak English and uh, make videos that are coherent and not so repetitive and maybe useful information for people who are considering to start their own business or already are running their own business. It's always nice to hear what challenges someone else who is living a similar life as you are, are going through. So then again, I want you to share in the comments below what type of poisonous people did you meet in your life? And what did you do to get rid of them? And who were they from the beginning? Was it possible to get rid of them? Because some people you can't really get rid of. That's a problem. When people who are close to you treat you bad, but they are the type of relationship that you really can't just say bye-bye to. That's a tricky one. So let me know about your experience with uh, crappy people and how, how and what did you do to get them away from your life and live the life you want. Comment below and uh, thank you for watching and soon there will be another video from uh, Shanghai. Bye bye. So we've reached the end, it's time to say goodbye. Whether you watched or listened, I'm glad you stopped by. This was talk about something, thanks for the ride. Hope you'll join me next time, see you on the other side.